Good morning, Hope Church. I hope you're all doing really, really well, whatever time you're watching this. Um, welcome to another Hope Daily devotional on Monday, the 28th of February. Um, I'm Gracie, I'm one of the students here from Hope Church, and I'm gonna be doing a little devotional with you guys today from Hebrews chapter three, verses 12 to 15. See to it, brothers and sisters, that none of you has a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God, but encourage one another daily, as long as it is called today, so that none of you may be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. We have come to share in Christ, if indeed we hold our original conviction firmly to the very end. As has just been said, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart as you did in the rebellion. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like these verses are... These just seem very relevant to today, especially as we're getting closer to Revive, you know. It is so, so very important that as we are getting closer and it's getting more and more exciting and as we're praying and we're fasting for Revive, that we're also encouraging one another daily and making sure to look out for one another. You know, we all know how easy it is to fall into sin or after Jesus' blessing or something he's blessed us with to start to fall away from him. And, you know, this verse felt pretty, pretty um, relevant to my situation right now as well. I'm part of the CU, which is the Christian Union at my university. And we've had the most amazing week putting on a missions week. There's been so, so many incredible stories. I wish I could tell you all them on this video, but it would take me a long time. You know, it's just another of many, many testimonies of God's goodness and his faithfulness to his people. And it's been such an incredible week. And I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten to this weekend very tired, um, safe to say, waking up at 6am every morning for the prayer meetings, as it's had its toll. Um, and if I'm honest, I've, I've got to this weekend, I felt so on fire and so excited and, you know, just thanking God for everything that he was doing in that tent. And I've kind of come to this weekend, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so tired. And not even really wanting to, like, pick up my Bible as much, which if you know me really well, you will know, like, I really enjoy picking up my Bible. I love reading my Bible. I feel like God really speaks to me through that. And I normally enjoy it, but the last couple of days, I haven't really wanted to. Um, and when I was speaking to my dad about this passage, he said that when he was reading it, he had an image of a compass. And you can say, right, I'm gonna follow the North Arrow, but if you've had a compass before, you know how easy it is to get a bit off track and end up following another direction. And you know, that that's so easy for us to do as well. You know, it's so easy for us to be following and submitting our ways to God and doing what he wants us to do. But it can also be so easy to just be slightly sidetracked and just get a bit distracted. You know, God has blessed us in numerous ways. We can think of many, many ways that God has blessed us and is blessing us today and will bless us in the future. And um, one of those is community and church family and our friends and brothers and sisters in Christ. So you know what, let's keep each other accountable as we get closer to revive. Let's encourage one another so our hearts won't be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. I love it so much. There's a verse also in Hebrews, which I'm just going to find quickly now. I probably should have got it ready. Um, it's Hebrews 12 and it says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the brace marked out for, for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand throne of God. I just love this so much. You know, we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. It says, doesn't it, let us run with perseverance, the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus. You know, he's got a plan for each and every one of us. We can make all these plans for Revive, but he already knows what's going to happen. He knows the people who are going to give their life to Jesus or the people that are going to be impacted by this week. You know, let us run with perseverance. Let us keep running with perseverance. Even if we don't feel like running, let us run with perseverance towards Jesus. 
and let us run together towards him. I'm in a group chat um, with a little group of us from church who are part of the kind of street evangelism advanced group and we have a little WhatsApp chat and everyone sends like Bible verses or songs on Spotify, uh, like worship songs or um, devotionals. And it is so encouraging. You know, sometimes there are days when I'm a bit like, Ugh, I don't really want to pick up my Bible that much. I just feel a bit down in general. And I will go on that WhatsApp chat and something someone sent, I'm like, wow, it just reminds me of God's goodness, his faithfulness. And, you know, it just reminds me to keep my eyes on Jesus and run that race with perseverance that he has set out before me. So, yeah, just as we get closer to Revive our Missions Week, let's just keep our eyes out for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's keep encouraging them so their hearts aren't hardened by sin's deceitfulness. And let's keep encouraging them. Let's encourage one another so that we don't lose sight of Jesus. You know, if you get a nudge on your heart to check in on that person that maybe you haven't seen at church in a while, just go in and check on in, in on them. Make sure they're doing OK. Or if you get a Bible verse put on your heart, why not share it to the Hope Open group? Or why not share it to your friend or on your Facebook? If he puts those nudges on your heart, they're there for a reason. This is ways that he can really speak through us and he wants to use us to encourage each other too. So let's encourage one another as long as today is today. I'm going to pray for us quickly before um, we head on into our day. Yeah, Lord, I just want to thank you so much for this time. I want to thank you for your word, that your word is living and it is true and it can speak so much to us today. I really pray, Lord, that we will put into practice what we've heard from you today, Lord, that we will really encourage one another as long as today is called today. We will look out for each other and keep spurring each other on and that we will be able to run with perseverance the race that you have set out before us, Lord. May we draw closer to you in this time as we get closer to revive and in the future, not turning from you or getting distracted. May we lean into you, Lord Jesus. Have your way in us. Amen. Yeah, so I hope you all have a really, really lovely day, whatever you're doing. Um, and if you take one thing from this today, may it just be that you will be encouraged to encourage others. Um, and that will, yeah, we'll just encourage each other as long as today is today. And be reminded to run that race with perseverance that Jesus has set out before us. I'll hope to see you all very, very soon. Bye.